Manhattan Christian's Caden Hill held a five-shot lead after an opening round 79, but he had some competition on his tail. Teammate Cullen Visser with the chip on the par 3 11th. He gets it about 10 feet from the hole. He would drain it for par. Visser finished third on the day. Now here's Park City's Tucker Johnstone. He started five back, and Johnstone with a long birdie putt on 12. He leaves it right next to the hole, and that would allow him an easy tap-in par. Here's Great Falls Central's Nick Scott. He also started five back on the day. His chip on the par 4 15th goes within five feet, but here's his par putt. Just pushes it to the left. He'll have to settle for bogey. But today was all about the freshman Hill. His approach on the 11th, he sticks it right on the fringe. That's going to give him an opportunity for this birdie putt. It's a ways away, but Hill drains it. He's feeling the short game early. Talking about short game, let's go to the par 3 12th. Hill chips it onto the green. He's going to leave this one beautifully right next to the hole. That's going to make an easy tap in par for the freshman. Hill hitting greens in regulation. He has another birdie opportunity on the par 5 16th, but he pushes it right. Again, an easy tap in for par. He is coasting with consistency, and that allowed him to stay on top of the leaderboard. The young eagle has his approach on 17, and he's going to put this one beautifully. Play him like a senior inside 25 feet. And now his birdie putt. He's going to nestle it right up next to the hole. Another easy tap in par here, playing some scratch golf. Hill fired an 86, but it was enough to edge Fairview's Alex Shriver by one stroke for the Class C title. Feels pretty good. It's a... Not every day that you get to play for a play for a state championship, so it's it's really it's really a fun thing. I definitely want the team to do better because the team means more that the school is doing great and that our program is doing great, not as much just the one person. Because it takes more than just one one guy or one girl shooting a great score to win a state championship. On the girls' side, Manhattan Christian's Jillian Fry held a two-stroke lead, but a threesome was hot on her tail. Ennis' Landry Palatichuk, who started two back with a par putt on the par 3 12th, just misses it. She'd tap in for bogey. Palatichuk finished second. Now to Lone Peak's Delaney Pruitt. She started two back as well after a 93 last round. Here on the 13th, she just misses the bogey putt. Would have to settle for a double. Pruitt finished in fourth. Now it's Harlowton's Madison Wasson. She also started two back, trying to keep the pressure on five, but that birdie putt on the par 5 16th, she finished third. But Fry was cool all day. With the long birdie putt on 12, she leaves this one right next to the cup, just a few inches, and that's going to be an easy tap in par. She's in a little bit of trouble here, though. Fry sliding this bogey putt by on 13. That gives the field a little bit of a break. She taps in for double bogey, but she rebounded nicely. Fry has a birdie putt on 16, taking her time, knowing the importance of this single stroke. After her preparation, she's going to bury it right in the center of the cup to seal her title. Fry shot an 87. Manhattan Christian boys and girls win the team titles. It's what you work for all season and all summer and like all year long and I mean for it to come true is just truly incredible. We hadn't won a state championship since 2000 and then we won it last year and now we won it this year. I mean two feet is crazy. By winning both it just shows that and I mean it's really incredible and I'm so proud of my teammates and even Caden who's the individual state champ to sweep it is really just insane.